Hello and welcome back as ever to Archeo Soup Towers. Now, this afternoon I've had some time to kill. I've been waiting uh, to record a Meet the Archaeologist interview uh, via Skype. So I've been sat here at my desk. This is me facing my desk. The camera is on the desk, if you see what I mean. And uh, been you know, catching up with emails, catching up with various bits of work. And frankly, I got a little bit bored. Now, when I get bored, I tend to try and find something interesting to do. And I figured, what could be more interesting than giving you guys uh, a little thank you, I suppose. Now, um, you may already know about a stone tool mouse cursor, which I created a few weeks ago and put on the website as a free download. It's uh, in the shop on the drop down. It says free stone tool mouse cursor, I think. And it's basically it replaces the arrow on your computer, the uh, the cursor with a arrow head or with an arrow head, um, a, a barbed stone tool, basically. And I was really quite pleased with that. But this afternoon I went one step further and then several steps further. First of all, uh, earlier this afternoon, as I've already put on the Facebook page, I made a trowel mouse cursor, which was quite pleasing, you know, and when I installed it, I was like, yeah, I like that, that's quite cool. Uh, but then it occurred to me as I was installing it that actually your cursor has various functions. It has, for example, uh, the waiting timer, it has uh, uh, a help function, it has the, the, uh, the, uh, the cursor for, putting you know, in the search bar where you're going to put your letters, this kind of thing. And I thought, well, why don't I make some of those as well? So that's what I've done. I've, I've actually created a little sort of selection of archaeologically themed mouse cursors as, I suppose, a nice thank you to you guys. You know, you guys are lovely. You watch these videos, you comment, you, you're basically part of a community, which I really, I really enjoy being part of. I really enjoy getting feedback, getting questions. And I thought, well, why not? Why not just do this and again, put it up there for free for, for you guys to, to play with. So let's take a look, shall we? Um, I'm actually currently on the uh, the mouse, well, the, the personalization themes settings in Windows 10. Every computer will be different. So I, I'm not gonna tell you how to install these cursors. Simply Google or whatever your search engine of choice is, uh, install mouse, um, cursors and then Windows X or Windows, you know, whatever it is, whatever your, your your OS is, as it were. But uh, here I am on the Windows 10 version. And if we go to mouse pointer settings, you can see that my mouse changes from a stone tool to a trowel, which I'm uh, I'm quite happy with, I have to say. So let's click on it. And, uh, and these are the different um, mouse cursors which I've made. So we've got the normal select, which is the stone tool. Then we've got the help select, which is a stone tool with a question mark. The, the standard one is the arrow with a question mark. We've got working in the background, which is a stone tool with a bone spinning. Um, and these are slightly slowed down when they're actually at full speed. They look fantastic on, on the screen. And then we also have standard busy, which is a bone spinning without the stone tool. Um, and uh, I've also added to, to the selection, the text select, which actually is a ranging rod. Uh, archaeologists use these to establish heights on sites. It's a surveying technique, and these, these are very good for working out from datum points, this kind of thing. And um, so if, if I go, for example, over to find a setting, you'll see that my cursor changes to the uh, ranging, uh, ranging pole, ranging rod. Um, I am very happy with, jeez, I'm very happy with this selection of mouse pointers and uh, I just thought I'd let you guys know about it. To install them, as I say, you'll have to, you'll have to find out how to install them on your particular uh, OS or version of Windows, but essentially if you just assign each of these files to these different points um, on the on the, all the different types of cursor, uh, then you'll be able to use them as I have here. Now there are other cursors which I decided I wouldn't change. Arrows and this kind of thing, they're fairly generic. Uh, I didn't think it was worthwhile changing those necessarily but I am a big fan of the ones which I have made. So I thought I'd share, with, share them with you today and uh, let, them, let you know that you can download them for free. There'll be, uh, there'll be a link on uh, archaeosoup.com and there'll be a drop down that says something like uh, mouse cursor selection or whatever package. And uh, you can just click on, on the link and it, you'll be able to download them off Google Drive for note. 
that's just my way of saying you guys are fantastic and thank you so much for watching. Uh, and also, frankly, it's, it's my way of also yeah, to us thanking you guys for being so awesome and sending me stuff every now and then. So, for example, yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? I'm losing track of the days. I got this little guy in the post. Uh, apparently, <laughs> this reminds the person who sent me uh, this uh, of uh, what I must have looked like when I was a Viking working at the Orbic Centre. So, uh, there we go. Rah, and he's got sort of this sort of rah, berserker action, which I absolutely love. Magnificent. Uh, and then a couple of days before that, someone sent me this in the post. Or oh, these, rather. Um, original uh, old school Indiana Jones comics. Uh, probably from the late 80s, I, I believe. The paper inside is fairly old, so I wouldn't be at all surprised. Uh, I mean, the dates must be on them somewhere. I'll have to look properly. Um, but they're just beautiful comics. I love, I love the artwork on that one. Absolutely magnificent. Um, but basically, you guys send me stuff every now and then, and I wanted to send you something by way of a thank you. So um, uh, the link will be available when this video is up. So go, go over to archaeosoup.com and download yourself a selection of archaeologically themed cursors and make use of them. Enjoy them. And think of Archaeosoup when you're working hard. Um, or when you're just browsing the internet. Who knows? Anyway, I'm rambling, uh, but I have got time to kill. Do you, want to, do you want to wait with me? No? Okay, fair enough. Well, uh, I'll let you guys know how the interview goes uh, on social media. I'll probably put a little comment on up there. But until next time, whatever you get up to, do take care. Bye-bye.